Nigerian men holiday. Oh, he wants to. He oh, wants to relax. Oh, he oh, wants. Oh, he, he said. He told me this morning. The only alarm clock I wake up to is alarm clock for work. <laughs> How can I wake up and be working? Are sleeping? Uh, uh, by five o'clock or six. <laughs> That's crazy. You can wake up by five or six to go to work. We can wake up by twelve. Yeah. You people don't know what an active holiday is. This is Piazza del Popolo. It's funny how this place is so close to where we are staying. We pass by here every single day because it's right opposite our metro stop, Flaminia. But this is the first time we'll be stepping into the Piazza del Popolo, which means the People's Square. This very gate used to be the main entrance into the city during the Roman Empire. So we are stepping into the square via a gate that was built centuries ago. Madre mia, the amount of history in this city of Rome, eh? I can't adequately express the feeling of being right here, in the middle of it all. Ooh. My people, this episode of our trip to Rome is a very important one because what is happening here right now is how marriage is scatter. We have not even stayed three days in Rome and the fight don't start. <laughs> Stay tuned for the full gist. I love, love these pedestrian-only streets in Rome. A lot of streets around where we are right now are pedestrian-only. So today we decided to walk to the Piazza Venezia, where you have the Victor Emmanuel II National Monument. Instead of taking the bus, that goes round and round. It's still early, so it's a cool walk actually. It's only two kilometers from Piazza del Popolo to Piazza Venezia. <laughs> only depending on who you talk to, because these people that I'm holidaying with just want to lie down in bed and sleep. Imagine. We are approaching Piazza Venezia and that mighty house over there is the Victor Emmanuel II National Monument aka the Altar of the Fatherland. Archaeological sites everywhere you look in Rome. So much history. You can see the Piazza de Popolo over there. That's the street that goes straight. Everything is connected in Rome. Everything. Well planned, very intentional. See the fire of the gods. <laughs> Step. Do you have energy to climb stairs? <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god. 
as I view these things, like, I try to imagine what this place is like in the olden days and I can't even, I can't. You can't what? Imagine what this place was like back in the day. You can go upstairs. You can see the Colosseum from here. Is it the Roman Forum? They are connected. The Roman Forum is around there. Yeah, 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 it looks like it, yeah. I think so, yeah. This looks like it, yeah. But let's go. I think we can still go up there. The elevator. I think uh, you have to pay something to go up here. I think. Uh, yes, because this is like a ticket place to <laughs> Tickets, okay, you see? Oh. Free under 18th. Mm, I'm sure. Everybody is free. Oh, under 18th. <laughs> Full. <laughs> no, thank you. No need. Full. 16 euros. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> because I saw free admission up, up here. Okay, this one is not free. Okay. 16 euros to go up uh, this thing, up and on the living floor. Okay. I move back. If you go up the elevator, you see everything around the city. That's the other twenty four. That's the other twenty five. Dima, I be a room. Which not on a room kitchen? You need Dima. He be a room. He's doing a Nigerian men holiday. He wants to. He wants to relax. He wants. He, he said. He told me this morning. The only alarm clock I wake up to is alarm clock for work. <laughs> he, he, he doesn't obey the alarm clock. The kids and I achieved a lot more last year when we went to Barcelona without him. Vacation is supposed to be your leisure time. When you wake up. Yeah, this is not. If, if you wanted that kind of uh, vacation, you would have taken us to uh, Mallorca or, oh. or Canary Islands. Or, you don't have to wake uh, up to uh, alarm uh, for uh, your vacation. Uh, that's the worry. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Costa del Sol. That's the kind of vacation. That kind of. You wake up in the morning, you're in a. In a what do you call it? You're in a villa. The waiter brings whatever you want, or you call them and order your food, and they bring it to you. You sit by the pool, sipping pina colada and margaritas. Your alarm is not supposed to. But wake you up. can't come to Rome, and you're sleeping in the like the kids I'm and I. like the Romans. They are sleeping now. How can I wake up and be Romans walking? Romans are sleeping at, by five o'clock or six. <laughs> That's crazy. You came to Rome, and you're behaving like Romans. Romans, you behave like them. When, when the kids and I went to Barcelona. Tell them, Nene, what were you we doing? In yeah. the morning, we wake up, right? Yeah, we never missed breakfast. Breakfast was early in the morning, right? Yes. Go for breakfast, and uh, 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 off we off we went into the city exploring. We did something every single morning because you know the sun is so hot. You, you want to leave early. If you don't leave early, all these hot sun will just turn out for your body. Eh? We are in Rome. No, we are in we are in Rome, not Barcelona. What? We are in Rome, not in Barcelona. I cannot, I cannot come to Rome with all these things to see. And you tell me you're sleeping in the Airbnb. Yeah, no. there's one sleeping. What's Airbnb? It's not done. It's the way for the students. It's if okay. Next time, take us to Mallorca, not here. You students, are you listening? Mallorca. Oh, oh yeah, Mallorca. Don't wake up by five or six to go to work. We can wake up by twelve. Yep. You see? 
Okay. You people don't know what an active holiday is. Active holiday is like but work. But they work. No, it's a lot of work. Holidays to rest, not to wake up by six. I'm yeah. telling you, if you wanted to rest, you stay at home. Okay. okay. You cannot come to this kind, or you go somewhere that you do that kind of holiday, like relaxed holiday. This kind of holiday, Every you still have holiday. your vacation days. So when we get back, you have a lot of time to rest before you resume. Yeah. That's when you take the rest. But this kind of holiday, guys, please help me in the comments because we've been arguing this thing. I'm tired already. I'm the only one that wants to really do. This the kids, one. This the ki one. these kids are up for it, but my okay, husband's okay. energy is transferring to them now. The no, money, they that's, just that's really true. I said. That's true. No, me no. That's you true. know. Me, I want so to go. you have you, you want to go out? Eh? Me yes. You're sure. Yes. Me, yes. This one that will go out walk a few minutes. She's looking for where to eat. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, She's no, looking no. for ice cream to leak. No, is that what I came here for? Anyway, what I'm trying to say is, this kind of holiday, you don't rest. You, you, you're not here to rest. You're here to walk around. No, honestly, it's like, it's a lot of work. When I see people that came here with uh, little kids, push chairs, all these stairs that were climbing, all these walking around, the children are tired. I mean, and they won't even remember any, any of this. Who said? They, not you, I mean, not you. I mean, I'm talking about tiny children. And then here you have a lot of places without um, without disability access. All these stairs, and you see people folding their strollers, having to go up carrying their children. Like these children, toddlers, they, they can't remember any of this. I, I mean, I understand you want to go on holiday with your kids, but this is not the best holiday for them, to, in my opinion. They, I took my kids to London when Ned was six years old and Kamsi was eight. Do you know that Ned hardly remembers any of that? Like, yes, I remember. Some, you remember yeah. some places, but you, there are some things I'll tell you. You say, I don't I remember, remember that. We went with EasyJet. We went with EasyJet. That's the only thing. And, and there was the an uncle living in Antietam. It was no uncle who. It was another man. Another man. He's, he's Antietna, Antietna's son. <laughs> another oh. man. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, she she doesn't. For instance, we met. Uh, we, went, we went to a zoo and to an aquarium. What do you mean? I don't remember anything. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't say you didn't remember. You, you don't remember a lot of it. Let me. Meanwhile, you were six then, and I'm talking about here. I've seen kids that were, that are three years old, four years old, and their parents are dragging them around. I mean, uh, 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 they look strong, they're able to do it, but it, it's it must be hard on them because me, my feet are paining me. Yeah. Me, really. We can go and rest somewhere. We always go home to rest in the middle of the day. Yeah, but yeah, and we take breaks like here now. We're taking a break, just chatting with you guys. But yeah, I, I'm I, I'm just trying to say that I feel for these kids. Okay, let me show you an example here now. Yes, that that they are climbing. Look at those kids climbing those stairs. They go up this one, come down, go up another one with their parents. Uh, uh, I feel for them. Uh, 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 some of them are excited to do it, but I feel for them. Look at that one wearing a red shirt. He's, he, 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 I, I feel for that little chap, man. What's yeah. wrong with uh, him? I didn't say anything is wrong with him, but I'm just talking about no, the, the effort of climbing up these stairs. He's such a young boy. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Maybe they can do it. But those stairs are super easy to climb. If it's just this one stair, uh, is the flight of stairs, it's fine, but they do this, come and do this one, do another one, yeah, do, that's what I'm saying. Ones, this yeah. Oh, look at this tiny bit. I don't want to show them on my, on my video. I'm showing those ones because they're far away, they're not recognizable. Right, yeah. Um, that, that's all I'm saying. It, it's, I feel for them, but I understand that parents want to go for these things, you know, at this time of their lives, but it's hard enough dealing with these near adults I came here with looking at their faces and you know even this baby here it's hard enough dealing with them not to talk of tiny kids you know all right that's that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying
I love these trees. I don't know how old these trees are. They look they look so ancient. <laughs> Mommy, it's not here. I'm going to go. Where are you going? I don't know. I'm to go. No. That's where you're coming from. The tour just started, you see? He's already pointing me towards home. Mommy, let's go that way and go home. So that you can go and lie down and press phone. Press phone? Right where? Because I don't know, for some reason, his uh, data is not working. We are all on the same network. Uh, his phone is not working. So he can only use the Airbnb Wi Fi. So whenever we are outside, he wants to go home so that he can go and use his phone. His phone. His phone. I like how green this city is. They have a lot of trees. So many trees. Okay, now we are going to climb those stairs. Shabi, you, you people say that it's very easy to climb, oh yeah? Let's go and come and show me your stairs climbing skills now. Come and show me your skills. That's where we're going now. See how steep. You see how steep these stairs are from here. Uh, those stairs, those ones. Uh, these ones and those ones, children climb them. Look at is that not a child coming down? Children climb them. Now you say that easy to climb. They're not so easy. <laughs> you already can start though, eh? Yeah. You're already tired. Just, just uh, what, two stairs. Jamaica can start. You keep the very hook at here, did you? My family they don't do active holiday. Next time, next time, I'm booking a cruise for you people so that you can go there and be sleeping. Wow, wow, wow. It's easy. The step is easy. Look at her collapsing. <laughs> this place from the top of Victor Emmanuel II National Monument and decided to come check it out and it's indeed the Roman Forum. Very nice view from here. Eh? We have tickets to go inside but not today. Listen. And you hear the guide describing this place to a group of tourists in the background? <laughs> Top travel tip. If you're lucky to stand next to such a group whose guide speaks a language you understand, you can listen in for free to understand the place better. <laughs> Now we are on our way to the famous keyhole. If you like gossip, keep coming with us. We shall not lead you astray. Aserebakutes. <laughs> I squat tired. What did you have? Nadi, yeah, you just came to look at the door. There's a secret behind this door. Secret to eternal life. Go there. See all these people. They want to live forever. When you get there. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
Look at all these workers and Luburis. So take more than five said, seconds. Said, eh? Should we take more than five seconds to look through this all? You will see what you see there. You see, you see the, the stars of life. What I wanted to say before Kamsi started talking was that my husband said that instead of this kind of holiday, Ndiocha, that is white man's holiday, it's better for him to travel to Nigeria and go and rest. <laughs> you guys have heard it now. So that tomorrow, if you see me traveling without them, like I did to Santorini, nobody will ask me, where is your husband now? Where is Kamsi? Where is Nnedi? Hmm. Learn from my experience. So if you like active holidays, get you a partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse who is on the same page as you when it comes to traveling. I am holding my ears so if you want to avoid this kind of wahala. I did not ask this all important question before we got married and now it's causing wahala. I am a tourist to the core. I will not pack my bags, deal with airport hassles, enter plane to fly all the way to another country to sleep. Never. My own bed at home is very comfortable. I want to visit a place and explore it to the last. If not, why bother, right? Please, guys, put mouth into this thing. Are you and your romantic partner on the same page when it comes to traveling? What kind of traveler are you, a tourist or a vacationer? Please let me know in the comments. Do you want to see what is inside? Do you, do you? Press the like button to see it. <laughs> anyway, I'm not showing. Come to Rome and see it for yourself. Yeah, gossip, gossip, gossip will kill you. <laughs> You want to know what is behind the keyhole? Come to Rome and see it. Ngwasi, before you quench. <laughs> you know I will show you, don't you? That's nice, that's nice. Did you close one eye? You need to close one eye to see it. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you expect it to be? No, no. Something 3D. Something 3D. Yeah, some you have to have to Something inside there. People will be there. Know, to see. <laughs> and you, what did you expect to see? Nothing. But you said you expected to see a naked man before. Isn't that yeah, what you yeah, said? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Because we're not going to ice cream at the end. Because. Normally, my husband doesn't count what he does with energy. But once he spends money to do that, like he said, if I, if I paid for taxi to come here, I would have been angry. But he trekked for 13 minutes. You know what? That is one kilometer from the from the. One hour. One hour. No, just from the station. I mean, no. The From the train station, no, it's just 13 minutes based on well, it's a 900 meters, that's like one kilometer. <laughs> he doesn't count something done with energy, but anything done with money, <laughs> that's what he counts. Ego, 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 man, ego. <laughs> Straight view of the basilica from this botanical garden. Now you hear the birds. Look at that view. My phone is not even getting this perfectly. This is what Odogu said I should not come out and see that we should be sleeping. And he's usually the first to say, 
Oh yeah, take a photo of me, get this and that monument to blah blah blah. And that, my people, was how our one more day in Rome went. Did you enjoy it? Did you? Did you? Click the video that pops up on the screen to watch another one. And we have not even gone to the main monument. Yes, I'm still going to drag them out no matter how they complain.